Hello everyone, my name is Brian. I am the uh, product manager on LaunchBox. Welcome to the theme workshop where we all come together and we can talk about all things theming uh, in the world of LaunchBox and Big Box. Thank you for joining and uh, Bella, you're saying greetings from Austria. Well, welcome. Hopefully you're having a good day today. Uh, I was off for uh, I guess a couple weeks for the stream, so it's good to be back. It's always a good day when we can turn on the stream and and just have some fun with the themes. Hopefully uh, you guys are having a good Friday today. And uh, the last couple weeks, what I did was I did release a couple videos the, that explained a little bit. I think one of the videos was about uh, how you can combine multiple themes that were created with the uh, community theme creator and combine them into your own version of whatever theme you want. Uh, you can take entire views, you can take specific elements out of a theme and then copy it directly into uh, your own theme. You can, uh, and then I believe the week after I created a video where I discussed how you could create your own version of a launch box that has uh, it's sort of like a theme developer version of LaunchBox that where you can uh, create a fake ROM set and then import those ROMs into a, a LaunchBox so that you can use all of that metadata and all of those images to uh, create your themes to make sure that you're, you know, standard to the LaunchBox uh, naming conventions and that uh, if you're creating custom images that you have the ability to then use uh, the community theme creator to create all your custom images and all that stuff. Uh, so those were the two videos that I that I created. Uh, I did want to get to one question. One guy did ask. See, I wrote it down here. Uh, so Alex, you did ask in in one of those videos. Uh, I believe it was the first one, the one where you can combine multiple uh, different views from different themes into one of your own themes. So you asked. Uh, you ran into a problem. You were trying to do this with an older theme called All Night Long, uh, which was created with a you know much older version of the theme creator, and you were unable to import it. So I'm assuming that you were able to import it. So you, you do ask the question, is there any plans to keep backwards compatibility? So as far as I know, there is backwards compatibility if you're using a, a an older theme and you load it into a new community theme creator. But what I think you're referring to is that there were some legacy elements that might have been used in that theme. Uh, notably, there used to be elements of like genre, like a genre string and uh, maybe like a region string or something like that, that were replaced with a more customizable version of them. And so those old elements no longer work properly and instead you'll get like a big red image that just says like you know get rid of this element <laughs> replace it with the new one so I, I assume that that's what you're running into if you were like gonna copy and paste that old view what you would have to do is just replace those elements unfortunately you can use the rest of the view the rest of the views there but uh if you just replace those i, I think that theme had some genre element that would have to be replaced and then then it would uh then it would work fine but yeah i don't believe that there's any plans to support those old legacy elements just uh they'll you or or someone would just have to go in and uh, make that replacement and uh oh Yaz, Yazli Bilge, did I say that right? Greetings from Turkey. Oh, welcome. Hopefully, uh, it's not like I, I don't know what time. Time. Uh, ho hopefully, it's the afternoon here. So, have a good after. Hopefully, you're having a good day or good night. Uh, thank you for joining. If anybody at any point in this stream, so the whole reason for the stream, has any questions about theming in general, in in LaunchBox or Big Box, how it works. Uh, a very specific question if you're in the middle of creating a theme and you're like oh, i'm really stumped on this one aspect that's what this stream is for you can leave me a comment uh, in any one of these videos you can reach me and on the launchbox forums in a pm uh, all that good stuff 
and I will do my best to answer it on the stream. Or you can come to the stream and leave me a question and we can talk about it. But in the meantime, there's a lot of lot of theming stuff going on, going on that I I'm really uh, excited about. So you can see on the on the screen here that I have my launch box theme that I've been sort of building and I basically came to the end of it and all I have to do is give it a name and uh, post it for people to play around with it. It was really fun to tackle this this theme and it, it taught me a lot about how launchbox themes are created and what you can do with launchbox themes uh, coming that that hasn't even been touched and happy not happy will there be more for android uh if you're talking about specifically theming yes there's actually uh there are plans that down the road there will be the ability to do custom themes for the android app if you're just talking about will there be at all anything more for android the answer is also yes there's lots planned in the works a uh, big update is being planned right now uh, when it first launched a whole bunch of uh, it, it came out and then there's subsequently lots of, of little mini updates to get the, the app, you know, going. And then, uh, we're going into more standard dev cycle where you will start seeing, you know, more betas if you opt into it more and then bigger releases coming out every, every month or so. So definitely look out for that. If you have anything specific that you want to see for Android, there's an Android section in the community. Uh, forums definitely check over there make a comment or make a post about any suggestions you'd like to see uh, it's a very active area and uh, one of the developers will definitely be able to see it and uh, they'll keep it in mind but yeah so this is exciting uh, i'm also working on the colorful port still uh, i've basically done the colorful port but now I'm working on all of the uh, improvements that Viking wanted to see uh, when he handed it off to me. There was a bunch of views. So I might just do one, one view and then do another beta release of that, which should come soon-ish. And But today, what I'd like to work on, I'm very excited about this. <laughs> pa Patrimonium, <laughs> welcome. Hello from France. Everybody's from a different part of the world today. <laughs> Andrew, you're from UK. We're just, everybody's just representing their own country. So like, hello from, from Canada right here. We're all, we're all from different parts of the world and we all bind together with the thing called LaunchBox. So let's take a look. The really exciting thing that I wanted to talk uh, to do today was to really build a theme that I've been wanting to build for a long time and the history about this theme. So it's essentially what could you do? We all remember the nostalgia of what it's like to get, you know, a video game magazine, like the Nintendo power or any of those video game magazines that came out. I got a stack of them, you know, somewhere in a box and, uh, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if you had a theme? A big box theme that would uh, really bring that same nostalgia that we had. Uh, like I remember very vividly at my school had like a book fair at some point. I remember grabbing a Nintendo hint guide or something like that and uh, just looking through that and seeing all the different games that were out on the original Nintendo really you know, when as a kid you only had maybe two or three games was just mesmerizing at the time. So it's about bringing back that nostalgia into a theme itself. And so I had a friend on Discord attempt to make a retro magazine style theme, showed me some mock-ups. Uh, I don't think he ever finished it, but I really liked one of his concepts. So uh, I took that and trying to like build my own a version of that so that that's really the goal like let's take a magazine and see if we can make it a functional 
fun you know the whole point of it would be like nostalgia like a kick in the gut of nostalgia <laughs> of just uh like that that's the goal so we're not just trying to add things to make it functional <laughs> like you want it to be functional without getting rid of that nostalgia so let's see what we could do today let's see what we can do uh the goal is to really have maybe two different views a platform view and a games view and in my mind i'm thinking okay so i wanted to have maybe the magazine that was like a closed magazine where you could see the like a full magazine of of a platform uh, and then the game view would be the magazine is open and you just have like the things that you have in the magazine i almost want to treat it like you're viewing like an advertisement for a game remember like every single every single other page was essentially just like an advertisement for a game <laughs> i want to do something like that and <laughs> and gout the me welcome welcome into the stream hopefully you're having a good day today and cj you just completed your nintendo power collection from your childhood that's awesome i never had that many i did have a nintendo power subscription and uh did get a number of magazines but not anywhere close to the amount that that are out there uh i have seen a lot of them online and yeah every every single every single time you got one of those magazines though man that was a good day good day to be a kid all right so i do have the community theme creator open so let's let's jump right into this so a new theme I really want to call it retro mags always can change the name later but let's just start there okay so this is what a new theme would look like uh, let's I don't know if this matters but uh, what I did ahead of time was I collected a number of images I want this to be a kind of a image heavy theme but you know because you want that nostalgic feeling the problem with it being an image he heavy theme is that now you have to get images for every single possible combination of playlists and platform and i you know i don't have time for all that but i i did get a lot of the major systems done and uh you know anybody it should be easy enough that anybody can just download some transparent images and add them themselves if they want and let's take a look at a platform view okay so now that i just added this new theme what i want to do is i want to take all those images that i have and i'll just dump them inside of this media folder so here's <laughs> see how i get quickly to the media folder you can see up here community theme creator my theme projects retro mags media folder and then you know we really have to dump stuff in here so I tried to organize it let me just try to remember where I put this stuff and I'll just drag it right over all right so I created first things that I did was I created three platform images folders each one has a bunch of images and they're just transparent images and here's a giant one of like an old looking pac-man uh and I, i'll i'll give it a name like a, a name of a platform so in this case when someone selects the atari 5200 platform this image will appear in some way and i can call it and then i've got a second one where there's more images uh, uh different images and a third one where there's more images and the goal that i had was you know if we had three different images we can make them appear on the on the retro magazine cover to give it that nostalgic flair for every single system so to add an image in this case it would be as easy as downloading an image putting it into this folder and then just giving it a name of the system that you want to see it on <laughs> CBs. We need where's my FM towns? Yeah, but which FM towns? CB, you gotta be specific. There's more than one. And Neil evening. 
you're a little bit late to the party, but they're not that late. And you can see Neil because you're, you're, I mean, you know, the struggle of getting a graphic for every single image for every single system and platform out there. Cause you're in the middle of doing that yourself. <laughs> and so I just did a handful and each one, like you, you wanted like really large images too. I, I just need like not large at all. Uh, <laughs> cause the, the image itself won't, won't actually take up a lot of space on the, the view. Five more to go. Holy Christ. I, if I had five more to go, I'd be like crazy searching for those five just to get to the end. Are you at that moment where you just like you, you're rushing to try to get it? I can't wait. I can't wait to see that pack. So for people that don't know, Neil here is trying to create an image pack of for every single platform that we have in LaunchBox. He's going to have a giant image. I can't remember the size of some like uh 2k or 4k image size of a character for that image. Kind of like here, what you're seeing here, <laughs> but for every single system. So that's like a hundred and how many, 150, 170, something crazy like that. And that's been his mission. And then once he's done, <laughs> he only has five more to go. That's crazy. All right. So those are these images. I've got some theme specific images, which are basically, so I'll grab them here. So this will be the magazine. Uh, I'll have this background. I grabbed a barcode cause I thought that would be cool to have a, a barcode that's over everything else. Uh, I've got a uh, overlay. I'll talk about this later. Oh man. Okay. So there's this one and there's this one. Uh, that's definitely one of them I got to do. Okay. So I think, I think we're okay here. Let's take a look. What does this look like? Okay. I hope it's that one that make things a lot easier. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, what else do I have? So I also have uh, a third one, which is a background or fourth specific platform specific folder called backgrounds where I'm going to have the backgrounds of images that will appear for specific systems. So I did, did it for a bunch. And Neil, you're, you're going to send me over the weekend. Oh, I can't wait to, to take a look at it. Okay. Do I have anything else here? Okay. So I have a folder of console images that, uh, is a combination of some that I found on the forums and some that I went and downloaded, uh, to just sort of make them look a bit better. Is there anything else here? Let me just double check. Nope. This one. Nope. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's uh, all the images that I had prepared. And happy, not happy. What made you change your mind about the Android version? Uh, change, change your mind about what? <laughs> That'd be a good, good question. If you have anything specific about the Android version, let us know. And Patrimonium, tell me if I'm wrong. You want to create a theme based on the layout of a magazine. In this case, layouts of a Nintendo power of the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean not specifically Nintendo power, but to create the layout of a magazine uh, of a, like a video game magazine of that time of the eighties or nineties, early nineties, that startup. Oh, start up again. Okay. Um, there is a good forum post on the forums that would kind of explain that a bit better. But the gist is, okay, to not get into the, the full thing, you basically had to, I mean, there was two things stopping the, the development the first time around. And that was, uh, Google basically came out and announced that they are going to stop these front ends from functioning with some changes to the way that the framework works in Android. 
And when you hear that, when you hear Google basically saying, yeah, well, this type of stuff you're doing here is not going to work moving forward. You know, the, <laughs> we're not going to let, let it work. Uh, you know, that's kind of scary, but what ended up happening, cause that did somewhat happen, uh, but not to the extent that they were talking about at the time. So there is still a little bit of that, of that in the sense that if an app had updated to the newest, and I'm not a developer, so uh, the newest framework or the newest uh, system, the Android 11 uh, new stuff, then, you know, something like a front end can't access its fi those that app's files or can't access uh, a lot of the config that's going on in there. And therefore we cannot launch a game for an app using the Android 11 sort of framework. But something that I think really, really, you know, put us over the fence was the fact that you can, we can take this code. So the code in LaunchBox for Android, you know, it's brand new code from scratch. I right? had to rebuild an app. I like couldn't use any of the, any of the, the window stuff. So I'm, you know, t to begin an app from scratch, it takes a long time. So, uh, it was really like, can we, can we do the time investment versus the amount of money that is involved to develop this versus the, re the amount of in, uh, money that people could afford to, to pay for it might not be, you know, on the same, same page. But, uh, what I think took us over the edge was the fact that that code that we're creating can be used in the future, potentially with some future updates that are supposed to come down the line for not just Android, we can use the same code for other platforms. And so that's, that's really exciting to me. Anyway, Android's back. It's been doing great and it's here to stay. Lots of cool stuff to come. Trust me. But in the meantime, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay. So I'm going to build the framework of this platform. The first one will be the wood background. I'll try to label everything correctly. Cause I know some people might want to use this <laughs> for something in the future. Let's take a look at this. So, uh, okay. So this is going to be a media image that I put into theme. There you go. A nice, uh, wooden table here. And then I believe that the next one, I really hope that this is the case. I'll try, I'll try both of them, but I believe it's one of these ones. So here's the magazine and I gave it like a little, a little, uh, pattern in the background of like games and stuff. So this is the magazine and then there should be an overlay to that magazine. So let me see if I have that as well. Yeah. So what's what I, what I really love to do is provide this sort of, I would love to put like a texture above everything to solidify everything that's underneath it. In this case, it's sort of a little sheen. So this is the magazine overlay and that'll become apparent if I'm using lots of different graphics and elements, I want them all to look like they're under the same lighting essentially. And CJ, you're very happy that, uh, Android has come back. Yeah, I am as well. I am as well. Okay. So, so far so good. Definitely like the look of this. Okay. So the wheel itself will have to go somewhere here. And since the overlay is basically going to be on top of everything, I'm going to put it in its own group at the very top here. Then I'll have sort of maybe a middle group and this group will, uh, 
just be a lot of the main elements. Maybe I'll put main. We'll see if I change that in the future. But uh, so this will be background, main elements, and then the overlay. See where I want to put the wheel. So the wheel itself will. I'll have to think about it. I think I know what I want to do with it. And there was a couple couple options that I had when I was thinking about this earlier this week on what I could do with the wheel. But I think I figured out a good compromise in my head as far as performance versus functionality. A theme comic scrap is that an is that a a theme already called comic scrap i don't think i've ever heard of that one but uh i would love to check that one out See if i can do uh oh i see like a comic strip if this is the one i don't know i just picked a a random one so this is like a comic script like a comic book. Yeah. So yeah, not from what I'm seeing, not quite like this one's cool. But definitely not doing quite what this one's doing, but this one's a cool comic books uh, theme. That's for sure. But let's take a look. Let's take a look at what we'll do here. All right. What I will need to do next is create uh, the game and I'll put it here. I'm going to have a game background. The yeah, are sorry, platform specific background. And uh, let me see if I can The trick now is going to be that I'm going to have to put it way over what's already here. Uh, so I might want to cheat a little bit here for the. So I wrote down some of the numbers so I don't have to struggle here. Nine, six, seven. All right. So far, so good. So this one, what you'll see is that I will basically call metadata. This is how you create platform specific call platform specific images. So you say, I want to use the metadata that holds the platform name. And then whatever the platform name is, I want to look inside of this backgrounds image folder and find one that in this case has the name Nintendo Entertainment System, which uh, if I'm looking in here, so I look for one that says Nintendo Entertainment System. So it finds this one and then it displays it in the background there. So I do want to make it so it's a couple things here. Let's make it so it fills the space. And uh, I'm not sure if I like. Maybe I'll bring down the opacity a little bit. Make it a bit rougher. That's probably too much. 75. Oops. Okay, so I like that. There you go. Okay, so the background's done. So now I probably want to copy that. Let's make a canvas. And then I'll paste the layout. So I want the layout to be exactly the magazine. All right, perfect. And then now all the elements inside of here, I'll just have to place inside of this canvas and it should be, uh, should work out pretty good. So it won't, it shouldn't come outside of the canvas. Let's let's take a look. I'm going to just sorry lock that element so that I can 
lock the canvas there. Okay. So there you go. So now any image will lock inside of this magazine. So let's start with something simple. Let's start with the actual platform system image. So again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did for the background. I'll go to platform metadata and look inside this time, the console images. So there's the Nintendo. I'll center that guy out. Now, how much of the magazine do I want it to cover? Leave space at the top. Well, a couple things that I probably should do just to uh, think about it is uh, I'll probably put a drop shadow on this guy. Look at that. Way too far, but we can sort through that out, blur radius it out. Not bad. Now we can do uh, another drop shadow here. But we'll put it at the bottom. Okay, so there's your Nintendo system. And let me just double check what this will do. So this will say vertical top. So it'll start at the top and it'll stay in the middle. So that's a great question, Patrimonium. When you create a theme like this, live do you experiment before do you edit the theme entirely before so uh sometimes i'll have a theme concept like this and just uh try to piece things together knowing that there's there's some tedious stuff that it'll do in the background so i got all the images together and tried to work out what i feel would work and what wouldn't work uh beforehand so I did that with this one because this one's actually a really complex theme. Uh, sometimes I just wing it. <laughs> and those ones you'll see a lot more trial and error. And there will, there will be some trial and error here as well. <laughs> but hopefully the kind that, uh, you know, breeds better, <laughs> a better type of theme in the end. So uh, it's, al it's always beneficial, I think, ahead of time to just make sure you got a lot of the numbers right you know uh, sometimes you know I can't do that but you know do my best to uh, try to get things done ahead of time but more likely than not I'm not building the entire theme beforehand so there will always be some sort of trial and error going on here okay in saying that but yeah great question what happened to your theme? Are, did you uh, did you complete your theme completely? I'm gonna bring down the next element. This one. And we'll see what I'm gonna do. Let's say this will be platform image one. Actually, game graphic image one let's say that be something like that and let's see what i got so <laughs> you know Doing the same thing again. All of these will use the same sort of metadata. They're all calling the platform, but just looking in a different folder. So there's one. So now I've got to decide 
where I want this image. So I'll probably say, hmm, yeah, line to the left and go to the bottom. How about that? Maybe around there. That looks good. Okay, so that's graphic number one. And what I can do to make this a little easier for me is I'll just copy and paste the same exact element you can see there. And I'll just call it number two. Put it here. This one I will most likely maybe shove into the corner. Yeah, I'll shove it into the corner, see what happens. Bring it up more. Make it a bit bigger. I'll also put it on top of the first one. So this one will be sort of like the main element. And I'm going to push this to the right side. So I'm going to have it the right side, bottom. And all I have to do is change from platform image one to look in platform image two. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's not shove you into the corner. There we go. It's a bit better. Okay, so that's number two. Let's do number three. Number three, I think, uh, will be on top of number... No, let's put it below. We'll position it here. And let's see what we got. So this is number three. We'll switch over and there you go. This one should be a bit smaller, I think. It should also maybe go into the middle. Let's put it at the top. Just bring this down a bit. Yeah. Decisions. Okay. So far, so good. The last thing that we want to do is, uh, so what I decided, I went through two different debates in my head this week, and that was, okay, do I make it so there's entire magazines that you're siphoning through, which is a cool concept, or do I make it so the logo is kind of going off the screen here? Whoa, what happened to that guy? Or I have the logo on the screen, and there's this one magazine. So I ended up deciding to go with just the one magazine thing. And the reason was because uh, although I could do entire magazines and have them, you know, filter in and out, the performance would just be too much. So it would look cool, but not be performant enough for you to actually use the theme. And then for any... It would be like the whole banner box scenario where if you didn't have a banner, if you didn't have a magazine image for a particular playlist or theme, it would just look terrible. So in this case, I'm safeguarding this theme and making it so even if you didn't have any images, your logo will still show up and uh, the magazine will still be there. And so that's sort of what went through my head. So let's see where I'm going to position this. So I think I'm going to go over the background and over the platform image. Of course, now that I say that, I'm going to have to move this one down, aren't I? Oops.
All right. But I'm going to have this under the game graphics. There we go. And for the wheel, uh, I did go ahead and this is one of those tedious things where in order to get the right sort of wheel that you want, you you can't since you can't see it in the theme creator, you're going to have to just experiment with the numbers. Uh, I've gone over all the properties. All these properties are within the document.pdf file within your launchbox slash themes folder. And they'll talk about all the different properties and what they do to help you determine what you want to do. So I'll do clear logos. Uh, I also decided to just use your the user's clear logos. So I don't have to include any clear logos into this pack. Uh, you can just, they'll always appear no matter what, whether you have, if you have the logo, it will show up here. So I thought that's probably a better option in this case. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, I believe I'll do that. And that will give me a baseline. And I'll change these numbers to ones that I had found before to be pretty good. So we'll see if that's still the case. All right, and then sort of the last thing that I want to add here before I start dealing with all of the, where did that guy go? Ah, he's at the bottom. Before I deal with all of the actual polishing up this view, let's add this text scroller to the top here. So I'm going to put this inside of here. Add this to somewhere here. I will make this. Yeah. Get rid of the background. Give it some sort of light font. That's what I'd want. Is there a light one? Yeah. We do light. Maybe something like this. So we'll say, hey, bring in the notes, pla platform notes, but make it scroll horizontally. Should be here, horizontal. We'll bring up the font size to something respectable and readable. We will <laughs> make the scroll speed a lot faster and we'll make it just not have any there you go there it comes out now we can size it a bit like that make this a bit slower <laughs> and Harry hope you're doing well today 2.6 how does that look how about just two there you go not too bad i can even go probably less of it all right so you got the text scrolling at the top i probably want to make it fade out just a tiny bit Maybe 80%. There you go. And Harry, you just got your new system up and running, a Ryzen 5600X and an RX 6700 XT with 12 gigs of RAM. Lots of videos we rendered. Oh, I can't wait to see all those videos. Uh, that would be awesome. <laughs> and if you still want to do the video for this magazine theme, I will add it afterwards. And Ernesto, welcome, welcome into the stream. Hope you're doing well today. 
so glad to see you here so so far so good right it kind of looks like a magazine it's kind of missing some things <laughs> uh, that a magazine would need so I will I, I feel like I'm going to need a uh, or I can just add it to this canvas yeah let's add it to this canvas or do I neatly create a new canvas in a new group to think keep things clean and tidy so i could say something like um, this is the overlay information we'll paste oh i needed to paste that in place didn't i oh i got rid of my group okay so overlay information and we'll paste in place and then I can get rid of all of this information here delete okay so what I'd want to do is create an image and this will be my barcode What makes a magazine a magazine? Well, you got the barcode there and we can just kind of lay it over any, any image that'll come up. And here, you, uh, send you the layout for the size of this magazine. Sure. I could probably just send you the images and uh, show you what it looks like. <laughs> I need the price of the magazine. We should definitely have that somewhere, shouldn't we? Let's do a couple things before that. So let's say, let's have a frame here. And this frame will have an element inside. Let's make it completely black. Makes so far so good. And we'll add some text inside of it and just say something like, actually all of this probably needs a stack what I'm going to do we'll stack frame the frame should be auto sized to its contents the stack should I'll, I'll just place the stack somewhere oops I'll be able to change that to whatever I want. Like that. Okay, so what am I doing here? Let's make this say games. <laughs> kind of font do I want maybe I'll just stay in the same font category here give it some order there okay so far so good
right? Yeah, the price is free. <laughs> and an issue number we can definitely we can definitely get an issue number in there, I think. So this is just the word games, <laughs> but I will use this. I think when I copy this and just paste an element below that. Oh, it's not inside of the stack. Well, let's place it inside. Uh, the stack all right there we go and this one will actually just be a metadata of the amount of games that you have that'll work there we go feeling like we need a drop shadow a little bit of one here Oh, actually, that was that was pretty good, wasn't it? Seven, maybe six. That's good. That's looking pretty good. All right, so we've got amount of games. I might want to make the games a little bigger. So this is the total games count metadata. Maybe 60. Okay, that's not bad. I think everything else looks all right. Could use the new random game binding to add text to the cover like oh that's a good idea check out random game inside this issue the only problem is that none of that is in the theme creator yet i think yeah none of that's in the theme creator yet but hey i can always do an update later to do that that sounds like a good idea Make this a little smaller. So far, so good. So let me paste this guy here. And we'll change this one to some specs. <laughs> that was a really cool idea. And while I wish I could do it, I could do like half of it in the way that the theme creator is uh, set up right now. But it's using a plugin. Right. Okay, so what do I want to do here? I want to add a little space. Oh, wrong spot for the space. I got to add it here. It's a bit better. Now what I'll probably do is take this Change the font. But yeah, I could change this space for for uh, 
check out that random game binding. That would be awesome. But for now, this will be like, you know, the CPU specs. Make it a little lighter. And we don't need it as big as that. What is the CPU specs of this? Oh, something really big. <laughs> Big enough that I might need to make this a bit bigger. Maybe too big. But now I can do this. I can just create a bunch of copies and then give it some different, uh, different metadata. about graphics this is the graphics for the nintendo and then this is the uh actually let's give it how many players it can it can have so in order to do that i will need to create a dock we'll put that dock right here and there's going to be a bunch of layers here that i'll have to like up to some sort of max players uh, what do we got Maximum controllers up to two. Okay, so they say up to two players. And of course, I've done this before. We want to make sure that if it's just one player, it's not going to be shown. Let's add 10 to each side of this metadata field. And then we can get rid of the one here. Okay, so this one will just be the, the letter S. And then this one will be the word player. Up to two players. And we'll make this S say... Uh, make it visible, but collapse it if the maximum controllers value is equal or less than one. And then I also want to do visibility conditions to here to say collapse this whole line if the maximum controller's value is uh, about just contains nothing. There you go. All right. Amir, welcome to the stream. You're saying make, make a tutorial on how to create platform theme videos for unified refried theme. So that's a very specific ask. Uh, the issue is that I was not the one that created unified refried. 
And do they have specific... He must have specific themes for that. And only uh, the creator of that theme would have the files necessary to provide us. Uh, has he provided the community with those files? If he has, then that's pretty awesome. We were talking for a specific theme. See if he's still around. Um, what was his name? Retro humanoid or something like that. Because he was a really nice guy. And uh, I'm sure if he still has those files, he'd be very much willing to uh, share them and get other people uh, up and running with that sort of thing. Okay, so he has provided them. There you go. Now, that is completely separate from theming. Uh, that's going to require, I'm assuming, some skill with video editing software. And so you'd probably have to download some video editing software like DaVinci Resolve or something like that. And... Uh, get some music, get some, <laughs> you know, Harry, Harry would know more than I know about, uh, rendering videos. He's the, he's the rendering video master. Yeah. But that's a completely different set of skills than building a theme. And oh yeah. Yeah. Retro. He's saying he hasn't been around. The forums in a while but he might still be somewhere so who knows who knows where he where he's at these days what do i have here so if i was with okay that's a bit better okay overall this is doing all right oh edward he had some real life things going on I wonder how long ago that was. Maybe he's a really busy guy right now. That's a possibility. So if he's really busy, but he's still around and has those files available, depending on whether he actually provide them or not, uh, you know, he, I can't see why he wouldn't, uh, do a, a small dump for, for someone like you, Amir. All right, let's make this a little more lively. So by doing that, let's see what we can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the animation part of this theme. Platform specific image. Let's make it so immediately make the opacity zero. So I'll say goodbye to that image. During selection, let's make it so it goes away almost immediately. Let's do 0.1, so 10 milliseconds. And we're going to bring it back. Let me see, what else should I do? So I will move it down. From its current location to a new location. This is going to be tough because I'm not really sure where it's located right now. I'll just have to guess. Uh, let's do 700. And we'll do that around 0 0.4. So 40 milliseconds in. Just want it to jump down to 700. Okay. And then once we have selected, I want it to come back. So maybe at 0 0.2 seconds, take one second to fade back in. Maybe do a little faster than that. I always do those too slow. And then up and down. Let's also start around 0.4 seconds from wherever it is, which I placed it around 700 to its defined location where I wanted it to end up. And let's have that take one second. 
and we'll just do some easing okay so we should see it come back in there it is again And Harry, you would like to see Phil's doodles theme with all the updates? Uh, that he, that guy is uh, some really good art skills, isn't he? I, I think more along the lines that he's using them for nostalgic purposes <laughs> that we agree with. All right. Let's see what the animation looks like. Oh, okay, too much. <laughs> okay, so I can fix that by doing two different things. Let's bring that down to 300. And then I might want to make that a bit longer to reach its destination. Wasn't quite right, was it there? During selection, oops. Oh, did I delete the Okay, current location to new location, 300. There you go. Odd. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, so we're putting it at uh, 500 now. Let's see what that looks like. That's not what I wanted at all. Odd. Okay. All right, so once selected is here, during selection is here. It wasn't really uh, taking this value, was it? I added at 700 before. And let's save that out and see what we got. And Willie, welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. And Edward, is there a video or instructions on modifying the game wheel in the theme creator, like how the different values change the wheel? So I have talked about it in a previous video. Uh, you may be able to, so what's really cool is that uh, Jay's Arcade over on the forums he took what I had, like my videos, and he cataloged the times where I mentioned things to make things a little easier. Uh, so if you go and I've, see if I can remember custom theme tutorials. Uh, I think it's this one. Okay, so tips for using the community theme creator. Uh, and he's outlined all these different times I said something on this thing. Uh, and one of them was the wheels, so at some point they, they must be in here. But if you don't find it in there, you can just go into the uh, theme folders. So if you go into the theme folder in LaunchBox, so wherever your LaunchBox is located, you go into themes, 
and there will be a documents folder here. And if you go into the documents folder, there is a section here that explains what all of those, those properties do. Here they are right here. You know, image type, curve amount, rotation amount, and it'll describe exactly what each one does. And it'll give you a little bit of better uh, idea of what to do. But in the end, the way that it works, because we can't see it, you just have to, you know, it's trial and error. But at least you'll know 